Wow, this video is going to be simple. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let me do this. I'm not really representing no more. So, um, this is a simple video. I'm asking every single person out there with a brain in their head who wants to promote change to attach a video to this and then we'll figure out how to send all the videos to Washington DC or some shit like that or we'll just make a big old stink on this so everybody sees this is my idea and I want every single person to give me their idea and don't write it in the bottom of the screen put your camera on and give your idea. Everybody just should give one idea to the new administration to try to promote jobs, try to bring forth maybe a, a product the United States of America itself could build. Give your ideas. Okay? Here is my idea to help the economy. And if I say this again, it will truly be for the millionth time. And normally, I cannot do no damn video with these people talking about Harry Potter videos and tapes. And Where's the remote? Okay. A minute into this, and I gotta damn turn the TV down. A little Harry Potter. Now, this is my idea. We have pre-existing cars in this country that are now beginning to be crap. In other words, if we need to find something else that these cars need to run on, let's take the model over in the Japanese town. Did I say that wrong? Exactly. I said that ebonically. Let's take the model that they're using over in Japan and go ahead and instead of building the entire car, build the engines modify them to work in our pre-existing cars that is the quickest way to go green yeah you still might need some oil or some transmission fluid but still I'd rather have to use a little transmission fluid a little bottle about this big every now and then than gallons upon gallons upon gallons of gas so think about it. That would be the quickest way to become self-sufficient. Take the water-driven engines, modify them, maybe even make them bigger. Put them in American cars, pre-existing cars. Now, if you could take this engine and throw it in a Jaguar and it not be the English straight eight, or wherever the hell I used to have my old Jag, then you can take an engine that's already running, modify it, snatch all these gas guzzling engines out, sell them to China. I'm not lying. Get some of that money, give them new engines for some of the money we so call owe them. And if it don't work, it take four or five years to find out. At least people would go to work for research and development to see if they can modify these engines. And right here on YouTube, there's people who modified their own cars to run off other than gas. Use American ingenuity to get us over this hump. The big three automakers, it'll take them a week. I mean, literally seven days to take that engine, decipher it, make our own, and they can have them in production in less than a year. You, Come on, you're telling me that Americans are so stupid that we can't take a pre-existing engine, modify it to run in the cars that we already have? Backwards capability. It wasn't called backwards capability. Oh, wow, well, I forget. I'm just so tired. It's early in the morning. And, you know, you wake up, and when you don't have no job, and you go to bed at 10 o'clock at night, you wake up at 
7.30 in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, tired. Send me to work at a factory pulling these old engines out. And down the line, there'll be somebody slapping a new water engine in. Backwards capability? Backwards compatible. Yeah. A reverse engineering. Damn, I'm trip I'm see my brain is on lock. See, when you I, I'm used to doing manufacturing jobs, janitorial jobs, cooking jobs. Because I was told a long time ago, you're only gonna be so far. And all those fucked up things people used to say, they're damn close. You're only going to get this. You're only going to do this. You're only going to do that. I was also told I'd never live long enough to see my own grandkids. I was also told I'd never see a black president. I was told a lot of things. But I was never told an American can't make something work. Even when my friends used to make fun of me, they used to say I rigged things. I don't even want to say the other word because this ain't that kind of video. We can reverse engineer this engine slapping in our cars today and knock 15 years off what you guys are trying to do. And you tell me the big three don't already have an engine that runs on water just like the Japanese show you right here on this YouTube. If it's fake, Hey, I even heard they got an engine that run on air now. Air compression. How in the hell can we be stuck on gas when we can reverse engineer something? When we can jimmy rig something? We have the technology. We have the factories. They don't have nothing to do. Tell them to roll out something that they can slap in every car right now. You can worry about building a new body later. Instead of trying to take everybody's money, overcharging for something, how many people would go buy a water-driven engine? How many people would go buy a compression engine that'll fit in their car they have today? How about these old classic cars brought back to life with an engine that would be a, a fantasy to stick in the car? American ingenuity is what built this country. We need a new industrial revolution. Or we need to make things that we have practical within our boundaries. We don't have billions of dollars to do stuff. Let's just do it. The problem is everybody wants to charge somebody for a little piece of the pie. And then when the pie gets baked, they want to eat the whole pie. CEOs have been getting hundreds of billions for years. And now, while we're in a crunch, no one can think of anything with the power and the might they have and the machinery they already own to fix things. Let me have a plant. I'll fix it. And if I don't know how, I will find the people who can make what I say a possibility, a reality. So that is my idea to help the big three. Get off your ass, go to that patent office, snatch out something, and fucking make it. Don't say it costs this much to do. Make it. It's right there in the U.S. Patent Office. Go get it. It's overseas. Go get it. Go get it, America. And stop bullshitting waiting for it to happen. Somebody said we used to make things. Now we just make things happen. Let's make our economy happen. You've been too.